Vex TCG here. Just got another package from Rakuten Japan. Um, some singles. So let's see what they are. So finally unwrap them. Um, they're back to front. When they come, usually like this barcode goes on the front. So they just, I'm not sure why they do that. I guess it's easy for them to scan. Um, but when they come inside that, when you buy singles off, um, I think it's either Yahoo Japan or Rakuten. I, I totally forgot, but I always, <laughs> my trick is whenever my wife is ordering some clothes or whatever, I'll just try to sneak in some cards with a package, with a proxy package. Um, <laughs> and it works out because, I mean, uh, yeah, they're not too expensive, usually. This package wasn't too bad anyway. Um, I picked up some card ass ones, so I really like the pixel. Like recently, I've been really into pixel art, but you can see the pixels in the back, and then this is the nine tails. One of my favorite dittos, and it, it show features basically the Kanto starters on it. Um, then this ponita, it's like got a fire spin. Uh, holographic Venusaur. I really like it. Um, yeah, Venusaur is one of my favorites. This is actually one of her favorites because she likes she likes Psyduck. Psyduck, so this one was an easy justification. Uh, but you can see that Mushroom's grown up with Parasite. I think it's a Parasite card. A Hollow Aerodactyl, another easy one because it features Slowpoke. Actually, Cardass cards are kind of dark. If you look at the art, I think they're by Ken Sugimori, it's kind of dark. Like Usually they're like attacking other Pokemon. And it's usually like um, Psyduck and Slowpoke who's getting like the bulk of it. And the attacks are like really um, animated. Like for example, he's probably doing a hypnosis here. And there's Diglett doing a dig. I'm a big fan of this Weeping Bound. It's like a sludge attack. And then one of my favorite arts, Mr. Mime. And he's just getting like blocking out the water turtle. Oh, there's another one here. Here we go, and yeah, it's almost like a Bulbasaur Ditto getting like, sort of like Crab Clawed by Krabby. That's what I was saying, like, the, it's really violent, the art a bit. Uh, this is another Ken Sugimori, speaking of Bulbasaur, McDonald's, you can see the M arches, one of my favorites, you can see the double M logoing there. Yeah, uh, uh, one of my favorites. I know there's a Charmander, and a Squirtle as well. Um, they were sold out on the website. I think recently um, they've been fe these cards have been featured a lot on YouTube, so I can see the demand of them just going up. Another Ditto Bulbasaur. This is one that we've just consistently been missing, funnily enough. And we finally got it. Um, I'll just put display on the page next time. Abra McDonald promo. Bird's eye view. It's cool. Sandshrew McDonald's promo, great card as well, and yeah, my, my, my partner, she collects these um, e-reader cards, so that's good, and then some Pikachus, uh, Meiji promo, condition's not the best, but um, they're just binder cards for me, because I, I like to collect Pikachu cards, um, they kind of get like, quite expensive after a while, um, another Delta Species Pikachu, I think I actually have a lot of these, but I just got another one, because it was like not too bad, oh, here's an Alakazam, and then we have a Cardass Hollow Pikachu. I had to get this. I think this cost set me back a little bit. I want to say like $30, $40. And then a Gold Star Pikachu. Uh, I've never had a Gold Star Pikachu before. I mean, the corners aren't the best. There's a bit of whitening on it, but yeah. It's my first Gold Star, I want to say. I want to say that, but um, 001 or 002, and I think it was part of like a promo pack as well. I appreciate you watching, so please like and subscribe, and I probably, I think I have like two more of these Rakuten packages to open up.